In this step of the series, I explain the goal for the patent application. What are you really trying to achieve when writing the patent application? The first goal is to explain how to make and use the invention. There's also a patent law requirement called the enablement requirement. You have to give others a tutorial on your invention. You have to teach them what you know about your idea. That's the bargain that the US government is giving you. You teach others about your invention and they, the government, will give you a patent. The second goal isn't a legal requirement, but it's just good practice. Include the backup arguments. Most first office actions from the patent office are a rejection. In response, you have to narrow what you're trying to claim as your invention to avoid the prior art. To narrow your claims, your patent application had to already have how you're trying to narrow your claims. These are what I refer to as backup arguments. That's right. You have to preload your patent application with the backup arguments when you file it. You can't add these arguments into the patent application later when you're filing a response to the office action. This is one of the goals of writing the application. Include these details of the invention or backup arguments. The third goal is to anticipate and include design arounds in the application. For example, if your invention does something one way, you could include a brief description of a totally different way. By doing this, you block your competitors from getting a patent on these different ways. The fourth goal is to prevent the competition from getting a patent similar to your patent. If your invention prefers one type of material over another, you would include both materials. By doing so, it prevents the competition from potentially getting a patent on similar but not identical inventions. The outline that you complete will help you to achieve these goals. Click on the next video to download a blank outline, numbering worksheet, and patent template. I also put a link in the description below to resources to help you with this step.